everybody? It's Chris coming to you with another episode of my crazy crossroads and I'm here with Big Joey C as usual from Urban Ghost Urban Explorations and we are at this really freaky cemetery. Um, it's late, it's been raining, it's nasty, it's just a freaky night. Um, I'm really excited to get into this and see what we can get into but I do want to go over uh, one thing guys. Um, for the past week uh, my father has been real ill. Um, he's been in the hospital for well, six days, and now he's in a rehabilitation center. And uh, if you can, guys, if you wouldn't mind, do me a favor, throw out a prayer for my father. I would really appreciate it. So, like we were talking, we're going to dedicate this video to my dad tonight. So, we'll see what happens. Let's have some fun tonight, guys. Guys, this, this place is really creepy. It's kind of weird to get into this. It's not like off of a road. you got to go down like a little dirt road to get into it. and It's all muddy and nasty. And, and this just appears. There's like houses surrounding it which is kind of even a little stranger and we can hear dogs barking and stuff which is no big deal but just kind of creepy um, like I said or I didn't say um, the last cemetery the first cemetery I did was absolutely breathtaking and beautiful um, this is just like something you'd see in a, in a horror movie it's just just freaky there's nothing elaborate about it. It's just basically a cemetery. So, I'm not too I'm not too excited about this. I'd rather be in a in the Poltergeist trailer again. But let's check it out. And see what we can do, guys. Okay. So, I mean, it's literally like just a field, and then there's oh, this stone is turned over. It's sad. As I'm gonna try not to get any names, just out of respect for the. <clears throat> families because I definitely don't mean any disrespect to anyone here so I don't know if you can really see I'll shine the light on it but if you can see that little opening straight ahead if this light will stay on. Straight ahead there. That's it. It's just like a small little opening. Like one car can fit through and that's it. That's it. And it's just like a field with a creepy cemetery. Now they said they've been here before and they hear hear voices out here. Joe said he also has heard like um, things on the outskirts kind of rustling, which could be anything. Animal, person, who knows what. Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. It's literally like just a field, an open field. That's really, really freaky. Guys, there's like, I'm a little more creeped out by the house, I think, right now. There's like houses just on the outskirts. <clears throat> Too. I was just saying, I'm a little kind of creeped out by the houses around too, because yeah, I, I keep hearing stuff. I don't know if it's coming from the house. Yeah, yeah. Oops. Don't shine your light. Yeah. There's people outside already. doing up so late. <laughs> you could probably see all these lights in the cemetery behind them. They're probably going, what are these people doing? <gasps> what was that? I don't know. It sounded like a whisper. What was that? Could have been back there. Oh, wow. And as you can see, the truck's way over there. Thing with fun with you. It's huge. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I shut mine off because I don't want to shine it. Oh, there's so, all kinds of noises. They yeah, keep hearing dogs howling, right? The dogs howling are freaky. <laughs> We're venturing over to like the scariest part. <clears throat> See where the light is shining in through the woods there? Yeah. There were definitely like people or something in the woods. Really scary, bro. And that's the only section that it doesn't look like there's any homes or anything. No. I don't feel too good about those people. It's the house that the light just came on. I mean, who's up right now? They're not supposed to be up. We're the only ones that are supposed to be up. This is this is definitely a freaky, 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 freaky place. I know. Oh my goodness. Oh man, guys, there's all kinds of animals stirred up out here. I hear wolves, bro. I, that's what it sounds like to me, too. I don't know if there's wolves in Florida. Whoa. Right. This is where it's real dangerous. It's actually called wire there, but it's a Hello? Um, Hello? Why didn't I wear my hat? Every time I come out, I get bugs in my head. Like the vegetation is really overgrown here now. All right. See, back here is where I really believe they say that people were like using this road back here to, like to traffic drugs through this right. place. And we definitely heard people back there last time, man. Ah, it's very, very creepy. But I'm trying to figure out where this path was. Wow. Just the way that the trees are even set up. Seems like it's a movie set. You know what's crazy is like these dogs are barking like from every angle of the cemetery. Like there's not houses where the dogs are barking as well. No, I know. Over here is where that howling is. <clears throat> oh, I don't like that. <laughs> It's wide open. Did you hear that? Right here. Oh, so I think there's somebody there. Hello. Uh, be, yeah, let's be careful. Let's just 
just look with our light first. Over here to the right, Joe. Oh boy. There's no one there, Joe. There's no one there unless they're laying in all that stuff, but. Yeah, we're actually, we just ventured out because <clears throat> I thought I heard somebody over here in this area twice. It's over there, right? Yeah, why is there a path? Unless this is, is this a driveway that leads to something? Over here, over here. Get the fuck out. I'm... Remember I told you? Yeah. Yep, you should, you certainly did. Oh, what the fuck is that? Every time, bro. Now, Joe said every time he's here, there's something that what? rustles through there, and that's right where we were looking before. <gasps> there's nothing there, Joe. Did you hear that? And I heard a did I hear it? Did I hear it? Did I hear it? Did I hear it? Fucking heard it. Excuse me. It's gotta be, it's gotta be an animal, right? Oh my goodness, dude. Huh? What do we do? Should we go and check it out? I don't wanna, maybe let's go back this way. Let's stay on this side of the fence. There's a person back there, that's what it is. Somebody there? Hello? Oh my God. Guys, that is that. I only hope that the camera picked that up because that was the freakiest thing. All right, so right over here, and I'm not getting too close right now because we're kind of sitting out in the open here. I just don't want anybody jumping out if there's a person back there. So there's a fence right there, and then over on this side, there's not a fence. Oh, is that you? Is that your light? Hey, come on, go. All right. I'm gonna shut this light off real fast, guys. There was a light right over by my truck. Yeah, you're hearing it, right? Yeah, but did you see the light on my truck? There was a light. That's why I was running over there. I thought somebody was at my truck. Are you serious? I asked you if that was your light because I saw a light come this way. <clears throat> you said no, and I turned around and there was a light right there. Let's go. Let's go, man. Come on. So maybe there's somebody. This is a really eerie feeling and it, it's got nothing to do with the cemetery right now. You know, Joe? Let's double check. I mean, your truck looks fine. But... Well, I know. My truck's fine. Now this light won't turn on. This light is not coming on. Hold the button. 
I did. Crap, your light went out. There it is, back. Clicking off real fast, guys, because I'm almost at 15. All right, I'm back. <laughs> Now there's homes over here, so could have, could have been somebody that was right at my truck. Gosh, what a weird feeling. Yeah. You want to take a couple of minutes, we'll, we'll have a Gatorade and just chill for a minute and kind of regroup. No, I'm that. fine. I mean, yeah, that's that's cool. I mean, I'm okay right now, but you all right? yeah, I just uh, my camera was at 15 minutes, so I just shut it and started it again. Wow, full moon too. All right, guys. So when we're here tonight, like, I, I, I just find I, I was telling Chris about this on the way here. Like, <clears throat> go back there. So Joe said, Joe said earlier, even before we got here, that there's one area of this place that there's always something moving, always something rustling, and it was that same exact spot that he pointed out. And I only hope that we got it on camera. Whatever it was, was big. So these dogs are just coming from every angle too. And I know it's, there's homes back in the back there. And then off to this far right, there's homes. But this whole section that we just were at, um, where we just walked across the, the uh, fence line, it's just woods. But there is a trail leading up to there. So, I mean, there could be people there. But we didn't see anybody, and I certainly heard that. And that light that I saw is definitely freaking me out. But <sighs> Joe wanted to take a break, but my adrenaline is pumping right now. <sighs> I mean, I am on edge and kind of psyched up right now. I was a little tired before we started this, but to be honest, I'm completely aware <laughs> of what's going on. Alright. Just don't I don't understand how I saw a light. I'm wondering if there was somebody on the other side of the fence back here, Joe, that had a light and just flashed the light over to see if we were here. But it looked like it was right at my truck. That's freaky. <sighs> Let's go back over there and see if there's any more. Yeah, and then we'll hit over here. Movement. And then maybe. Well, we want to hit. Let's go over here now, man, because just in case. Wow. I'm telling you, man. And I heard a voice. I heard some. I heard some too, but I heard a little bit in that corner back there. But I'm just. I'm chalking that up to there's people that. See, now they went back to bed. They shut their light off. So people were checking us out. Which, you know, they, they, what runs through the woods here? they're probably just watching the property, making sure there's nothing going on. Meanwhile, here we are running through. Look at this spider. He's making a web. Look at that. How cool. How cool is he? He's actually, look, he's putting his web together. That's awesome. You don't see that every day. Dude, do your thing, man. Look at him go. My man. <clears throat> All right. Well, there's a lot of garbage over here. How disrespectful. I mean, this is just so blatantly disrespectful to a cemetery. I don't care how nice the cemetery is or isn't this right here I mean there's egg egg cartons a lot of bottles of booze little jello shots injection shots or whatever they call those things so there's probably kids that come out here and hang out and just disrespect this place I and mean, it's disgusting
That's for you guys. Do you know how much I love you? That's beautiful. Yeah, I mean, there's just garbage everywhere along here. That's an animal. That's definitely an animal. That wasn't what we heard before. What we heard before was big. It's disgusting to me, Joe, how disrespectful people are. There's garbage everywhere. I'm actually a little freaked out to uh, <clears throat> come back over here. But we're pretty stupid. I gotta give you that much. I gotta tell you that much. We're dumb. Yeah, if you can see now, this goes, this is a little path here. And I'm sorry if I'm moving the camera really fast, guys. I'm really pumped up. So there's a little road or path that leads in and out of here. And I'm not really sure exactly how to get to this path because it might just be a little trail. But right back here is where... Man, whatever it was, it was big. So me being the idiot that I am, whew, I'm going to check it out. If it's an animal, that's cool, because he'll just kind of go away from us. If it's a person, it could be a different story. Is anybody back here? Such a chill. That's right over here. Right over here. This is where you guys come in handy too, because there's a lot of things storing playback that I don't see. So if you see it, keep doing what you're doing. Screenshot me, let me know. not going any further than that. This is where I heard something. Yeah. I really just heard this weird thing. It almost sounded like a kid's nursery rhyme. Oh, God. Here we go. Play with me or something like that. Oh. feeling uh gotta be honest i'm feeling a little like uh i think my adrenaline was just so pumped up i'm starting to feel nauseous <sighs> joe there's nobody back there let's investigate it i just bit. went i just went pretty far back i'm not going to go any further than i went but there's a uh, there's some there was something in there whatever it was it was big <sighs> my hair was standing up too Whatever hair I have left. Did you hear when you were back here anything like that ice cream truck? No, I didn't, Joe, but I heard, I mean, before I heard some voices or something. Like it sounded like oh. a kid's nursery rhyme. Like an ice cream truck in the distance. <sighs> so weird. This is where the noise was coming Yep, from. right here. Okay, so there. Oh, yeah, that's. There, there might be a home back there, too. Let's not go any further. There's a home back there. There's all the way back at the end of this trail, guys. There's there's a fence, like a white uh, vinyl fence. So it goes to tell me there's a house back there. <sighs> Unless it's some kind of supply shed for this place, but I doubt it. Doesn't look like they really upkeep this place too well so that would make a little more sense because that, that most likely is a driveway that leads all the way back
<clears throat> I'm just gonna kneel for a second, guys. Bear with me. Actually, I'll talk to you a little bit. So I had mentioned earlier that we're kind of doing this for my dad tonight. Um, <clears throat> last week, he just uh, he's been he's he's been ill, but um, you know not. He's older, 76 years old, and, you know, sometimes age catches up to you. And uh, my mother called me, said uh, he's on the floor, he fell, he's had a couple episodes where he's fallen, and uh, fortunately I'm only about five minutes away from their house, and I got over there and kind of got him situated, and he just, he, he said he needs to go to the hospital, and <clears throat> we took him, they run a bunch of tests, they said there were some signs of possible heart attack, but a while back, not recently, which is amazing that they can tell, I guess, by the scar tissue and everything, but um, it's just been a really rough week. Um, Father's Day, um, I spent the day, which is was yesterday, um, in a hospital with my father. Um, we actually got him moved to a rehab facility, and they're going to try and get his legs going and get him a little stronger, but... It's just a very sad thing to see, to see your parents go through this. Um, you know, I'm grateful because my parents are are healthy, you know, up until this part, this point. Um, so it's a, it's a big shock to me. So we're just hoping that we can get them home real soon and get them stabilized and get them walking well. And um, it's just really sad. His, his feet were like the size of cantaloupes. Um, so they were saying there's a lot of fluids in there, and they were able. To, they've been like that for a while, and they were able to uh, get him down again, so his feet are normal. Thank God he's got normal feet. Uh, but with that, they were worried about fluid in his uh, in his lungs, fluid around his heart. So I feel really, really positive, and um, that everything's going to be okay. But it definitely wakes you up. I mean, it, it kind of uh, makes you think about life and things. Uh, just, you know, if your parents are still with you, you know, just make sure you let them know how much you love them and how much you care and just appreciate every day we have. That's kind of how I live my life anyway because of my disease. I'm sort of, I consider myself on bonus time right now, so I always live my, my life that way, but I always look at it towards me. I don't think of, you know, inevitable things with my parents or any other family members, so um, anyway you guys can keep them in, in your prayers. I really appreciate it. And uh, I'll keep you updated. Uh, Joe and I are going to actually probably do finish this up and then move on to another place. He said there's a medical building that's not far from here. So it's going to be a late night, but uh, it's really cool because it gets my mind off of things too. So um, we'll keep going. This place is freaky. Right now I'm sitting right in the middle and I feel pretty good. So <laughs> ah, let's keep going. My camera might shut off again, so I'm going to click it, turn it off, and turn it back on so we have a fresh camera and I don't miss anything like I did on the last video. I was so caught up in that spirit box that I didn't even pay attention that my camera was off, guys, and I apologize for that. So my adrenaline was so pumped, man, I was pumped up. It was like my old day, the old days of, you know, getting ready for a, a football game or something where you're just kind of really pumped and butterflies are in your stomach. And then when I heard that, that rustle, that freaked me out. And then uh, I swore I saw a light. So like I said, there's houses around here, so that could, that could explain a lot. A little bit of voices, but again, there's houses. Oh, look at this place. Well, this is a really nice area. <sighs> Who's that, Joe? Uh, Patty and Marie. Patty from G Teams and Marie from Marie's Life Vlogs. Oh, yeah? I believe that they have a family member here. Yeah. Oh, wow. How about that? It's somewhere over here. I don't know which one. I'm good, man. I just kind of took an adrenaline crash, but yeah, I was really pumped, man. <laughs> I was really pumped. 
that got me going. Seeing the light by my truck really capped it off. Yeah. This place isn't too big, so that's nice. That's Especially if we're going to do another video tonight. Yeah. There's just bottles. Before. Bottles of stuff um, everywhere. And, oh. My camera went out. Uh-oh, Joe's camera went out. So, there's a rake. There's some bottles of fluids. There's brooms. What's the significance of this? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you guys can tell me in the comments like you always do. But I can't imagine that Hawaiian Punch, Pure Life, rakes, brooms, are any sign of anything. You want it? Did you hear that? So, my buddy Joe said those famous words, lights out. I'm okay with it here, because I got a way, I, I, can, I can run either way if I have to. <laughs> Where do you want to do a lights out, Joe? This camera keeps cutting off. It's weird, but it's usually my camera that shuts off. We're going to do a lights out, guys. I'm okay with it. Um, okay. And you know, we really need to invest in like an infrared, right? Yeah, we should. We All right, should, so I'm going to shut my light. And once you show the light, guys, the only light we have is the moon. The moonlight. Which is really cool. Look Some fly by day. Some fly by night. Some fly by night. Moonlight and shine. Zabarai on your day. Remember that show? Moonlighting? Oh, yeah. Zabarai on your day. That's my Al Jaro. Yeah, my Al Jaro impression. All right, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. All right, guys, wish us luck. I think we're going to be okay because it's full moon, so. Yeah. All right, so we got the full moon. <sighs> oh, hey, Chris. Oh, this is great. Is there light over there coming through the woods? Yeah, that's the same same thing I saw before. A second. Is someone in the woods over there? That's, that's the same thing I saw before. Let's walk up there with the lights off. Can you see anything with my hands? Is, my hand is right in front of the lens. Can't see anything on the camera. There's <clears> light over there. There's definitely light. It just went off. It just went off. So somebody's watching us, Joe. Somebody's watching us. Okay. All right. Should we? Should we get in the car? And I mean, there's somebody there. I think we'll be all right. We'll give him a smack with the old light. Well, let's just keep it off and let's see if it comes back on. Okay, so straight ahead, guys. I don't know if you can see it. Now, if there's any spirits here, watch on, because we're here alone in the dark, just Chris and I. Definitely that was a flashlight. Was that a flashlight over there? I think so. Over there, over there. Look, now it's to the left. Right, right the there. Left. Yep. Okay, so somebody made their way around. There's somebody, somebody in the woods, Joe. Wait a second, there's. What's crazy is the house is right there. Left. It's right there. Look, 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 straight. Look. Okay, so he's like, there's a little light in the distance. Don't, don't put your light on. Don't put your light on. Somebody's in the woods with a flashlight. Hey, that could explain, but how could they be here every time? Okay, there's a there's a light off to the left that's a steady light that's been on the whole time. And I don't know if you guys can see it in the camera, but off to the left of the frame, 
almost all, not all the way to the left. So if you see that little light, which it looks like I can see it on the viewfinder, off to the right, maybe 20, 30 feet, there was another light. And then about another 200 feet off to the right was another light. So somebody's out there. Whoa, what was that? Was that your light? No, I didn't. I didn't. My light's in my pocket, man. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah dude. So you want to try something real crazy? I think because we got another video to do, right? Let's suppose. Suppose we walk over to where the log is. And uh -huh. that, that cement thing. Yeah. And then and sit down there. Put the lights on and we could just talk a little bit and see if something comes because I think that's where there is and we can get out of here. Yeah, but this is all the lights are coming from this side. The noise is coming from this side. Right. So I'm thinking that there's probably people in the woods that may be watching us. But well, then I think over here. Why would Okay. Yeah. Possibly. I know. It feels like uh, <laughs> feels like we're gonna get ambushed. Yeah. So there's, there's a potential that there's people in the woods. Shh, shh, shh. What the fuck is that? It's the same spot. Wow, I got that chill again. <laughs> I got a real bad feeling, buddy, buddy boy. There's a shadow. Oh, I don't know if it's a light, but it looked like something ducked down right there where I'm flickering this. Yeah. Oh. Wanna go left? Something just fell. That? Something fell. Maybe something fell out of the tree. Dude. Oh, oh flicker. Oh, okay, that's the tower. <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> I was like, man, that's it's a UFO, intense, though, dude. Right? Oh, dude. That was weird. So where was that? That was right next to us. So something fell, right? Yeah. It was right. Something must have fell. I like Christmas. Alright, so. But it's over here. I think we should just walk right there and see because I thought I saw something crash yep. down. We can call it a day at this place, but we go yep. to another place. It was literally right here. So. Everything we thought we'd see or hear is on this path. Remember, guys, tell, tell me if you see anything, because my eyes can be playing tricks on me. There's nothing here, Joe. There is absolutely nothing here, buddy. Yeah. See, I thought I saw like where this. Yeah, I don't want to go too far down that path, though. Yeah, we'll just you know, go right cause... here. But, like, right at this tree. Yeah, no, I thought it was right over here. I thought that was right here, where this okay. bush is. But regardless, there's nothing here. 
Our eyes are playing tricks on us, buddy. All right, so let's uh, all right, we'll probably wrap this up. We'll head to the clinic, maybe. Yeah, let's go. Cool. <clears throat> all right, guys, so we're going to wrap cool. this up. And we're gonna wait these thumbs Look, 5K. What that means, but... Yeah, guys, we're going to get out of here. Kind of a kind of a cool experience here, that's for sure. <clears throat> so cool experience, actually. The best part of this is when we first came in here, my my uh, my fear of just being in this cemetery, being that it's so creepy, was was overwhelming. Then uh, I was completely taken over by some voices or rustling, and like we said earlier, this. A lot of activity on the outskirts of here, so God, it feels so nice out tonight, though. Nice breeze. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna get out of here and we're gonna try and shoot another video. So um, this was fun. This was definitely fun. Good night for me. I got my mind off of some stuff. So um, thank you guys for taking the ride with me. Uh, again, see this crazy crossroad. Check out the merchandise, guys. Also, uh, the the whole cameo thing. Uh, if you're not familiar with that, I have a link to it, and it's really cool and. I was able to do a nice message for somebody. Um, basically, you go on to the uh, to the link, and if you want me to wish you a happy birthday or whatever, whatever you want me to say, I'll say it. Um, if you want to give a family member a gift of us saying something, we'd be more than happy to do it. The link is also going to be down below in my description, along with all the other social media pages and all the other good stuff. I received a couple more... Uh, cool gifts that uh, I'm so thankful for. You guys are so awesome. Thank you again. Um, we're going to wrap it up here. Thank you so much, guys. I love you all. And we'll see you here in a little bit because we're going down the road to do another video. So we'll see you soon. Peace. Okay, guys. So uh, Joe and I went to the medical building. We were going to shoot two videos tonight. Um, we didn't do it because the medical building is completely caged in. There's fences all around it and... Uh, weren't able to do two videos so I hope you guys enjoyed this one video and uh, we'll get right back at it we actually have a really good idea oh, um, man we have such a good video coming we up, have guys. a really good one I'm gonna hopefully be able to sneak away in the next day or so so because it's a little bit of a, of a trek it's about a two-hour trek but I guarantee we're gonna be bring you a great one that's about two to three days away so be ready for that okay and we're out of here peace, peace.